Welcome. My name is Brad Prather with the DWD Technology Group. And today I'm going to go over the steps to add your vacation, sick time, paid time off, whatever your benefits are to your paycheck in payroll 2.0 and above. First thing you should do is go out and run uh, a quick payroll. Uh, so you have a little data in your file so you can see how it's going to line up on the check. Uh, this does not have to be a live payroll. You can go back and delete this once we get the check set up. But it is good to have some data in there. So I recommend you uh, enter some for at least three or four employees. We're then going to go down here to check printing. And of course, that is after going through the payroll tax calculation uh, as well. I'm going to go down to check printing. And when that opens up, uh, you're going to want to create a new check form code. You never want to modify the standard form code. There are two reasons for that. Uh, one is we always want to have a form that we can get back to in case the one we're modifying gets uh, to the point where it's uh, of no return. And the second thing is the standard form does not save any of your changes down here. So you would always have to choose check step sub, for example. If you're using paperless office and sending those automatically, you would always have to select that. So any of these criteria down here do not get saved. So I'm going to create one and just call it payroll check. You can call it, of course, whatever you want. Uh, it will then ask us to choose whether we want the pre-printed or plain form. I'm going to select the pre-printed. That's, again, probably about 90 to 95% of the checks are already pre-printed. And then, of course, uh, you have to have Crystal Reports installed on the computer you're working on. And if you do, you will have in the upper right-hand corner a button called Designer. Click on that. That will open Crystal Reports which will then allow us to actually make modifications to the form. And so it appears that the Crystal Reports is a little bit slow on my laptop, but it will open up here. All right, I've got an invalid printer message here that is not important. I'm just going to say OK here. And then here is our check form. Uh, the 2.0 check is slightly different. Uh, we've now got some group footers here uh, that make it space between the checks as well as between the stubs. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to expand this group footer 2A here is where we are printing all of our totals. Uh, you can see my gross earnings, my net earnings, deductions year to date. I'm going to put my cursor here till it changes to the double arrows. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger so I can have some room here. And this is where I'm going to drop this information. I'm going to go over to my field explorer into the database fields and expand the check printing work table, which is the table that's being used to generate the check. I'm going to scroll down here, and I will find down here about two thirds of the way down, I will find my um, information for my benefits. And you'll notice here, there's actually gonna be called time off one, two, and three. Uh, so in payroll 2.0 here, uh, you select what you want those benefits to be. I'm going to just add one of them here. You can certainly add all of them. I'll show you how to add the one, and it would be the same thing for the others. I'm going to choose uh, this time off one, in my particular case, is vacation. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to drag that out here. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup here. My font size here is an Arial 8. This came out with an Arial 10, so I'm going to make that one just slightly smaller, make it a little bit bigger here. This is going to show me the hours accrued for this particular check. I will go up here into the insert and I'm going to put in a text object, draw a little 
box out here and type, type in vacation accrued. Again, I'm going to make that my aerial eight. Okay. What I'm going to do here then is I'm going to go off here and go over here and I'm going to now drag out the accrued hours that will show me then the total accrued. Again, make that smaller. Then what I like to do here is if I simply do a right mouse click and copy, I can then paste this text box that I've already created and now by double clicking, I can just modify that. We'll call that total vacation accrued. So I'll move this over here a little bit, make that a little bit bigger. Okay, we've got used annual limit available. So what I'll do is I'll drag out the used. Again, I'm making that a little bit smaller. Do a copy and a paste. And if I double click, I can do vacation used. And then make my field a little bit smaller by dragging that there, moving that over. And then the last one that I'm going to add here is the available hours. Okay. And one more time, I'll do a copy and then a paste here. And we'll call that vacation available. Make that a little bit bigger so that we can see the whole thing. Okay. And so you could continue down this process adding any or all of these uh, fields that you want. They certainly don't have to be in a line like here. You have the flexibility as if you wanted to put them in kind of a column format, you could certainly do that. But all those fields are over here, again, in the time off one, two, and three that you can drag and drop out here. Okay. Now, again, I'm just adding the vacation to this one. I'm going to go up here and do a file exit. It will ask me if I want to say the changes. I'm going to say yes. And then here's another important thing to remember once you've made these changes. You will probably have to modify the stub lines. Uh, if you don't, and I will show a quick uh, process here as I preview my checks, I'll show you what happens if you don't do that. So I've got a check stub, stub is my format. I've already got my data out there. I'm gonna go ahead and preview these checks. You'll get a message that this preview uh, will not allow you to update from the system, and that's fine. I'm just trying to get data onto a form here to make sure that it's getting on there to see what it looks like. And so when I expand this and I scroll down here, you'll now notice that I've got my vacation accrued, and there's what was accrued for this uh, payroll. Uh, there's the total, which includes what was previously accrued plus this accrual. There's what's used, and there's what's available. However, if we try to go to the second page here, you'll notice that the bottom of the second stub kind of bled over into the next page. And if I keep scrolling through here, you'll notice that that's happening. So once I have expanded that group footer, I really need to go back here and change my stub lines. And this is kind of a, a trial and error. Uh, you can certainly go down by one stub line, preview it again, see if that works. Uh, I know that the two stub lines will work. You get a message to verify that. Now, if I go back to my preview, I should see that now all my checks show up on one page and I can verify that by scrolling through here. So again, there's my vacation accrued, used, and now if I go to the next page, you can see that everything is on one page. Okay? And that's uh, what you need to do to add your uh, benefits, uh, that being your time off one, two, and three to the checks in payroll 2.0.
thank you very much for uh, watching this video. And uh, please uh, check out some of the other videos that we have in our library. Thank you very much and have a great day.